together every day, having adventures as we play. Up in the hills, down on the beach, always a rainbow within reach. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, yeah. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, come on. Hello. to say hello 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 let's stop to say hello it's a way to say we're glad you're here come on and say hello hello hedgehog hello fox hello pig hello monkey when friends are near we smile and say hello when friends are far we wave and say hello it's a friendly word that shows we care come on and say hello hello mr frog hello hello, hello mr. mr goose hello hello friend Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I spy shapes everywhere. Circles, triangles, oval squares, stars, rectangles, so many kinds. See how many we can find. Hello, friend. It's so good to see you. You're just in time. I was about to check the mail. I'm expecting a letter from Ms. Panda. Let's check the mail together. Are you coming? Look, there's a letter in our mailbox. It's addressed to Mr. Goose, the Treehouse, Animal Island. That means it's for me. Could it be from Ms. Panda? It is from Ms. Panda. I'll open it. There is a letter and some pictures inside. I'll read the letter out loud. Hello, everyone. I'm visiting my friend. Everywhere I go, I see shapes. I've sent you some photos. Ooh, let's look. What shape do you see in the first picture? Hmm. Do you see it? Star! Well done! What shape do you see in the second picture? Oh, I think I see it. Star! Fantastic! What shape do you see in the last picture? Hmm. What shape do you see? Star! Yes! Can you find shapes on Animal Island? Love, Ms. Panda. That's a great idea. We'll make star our special shape of the day. Let's look for stars on Animal Island.
Let's look for another one. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! Let's look for shapes in Coconut Cove. Let's look for stars like this. Do you see one? Yes! I see one! Do you see it? Right! Let's look for one more. Yeah! Let's look for more. I see one! Yes! Let's look for another one! Yay! Let's look for one more! Alright! I'm glad we got to play together! It's story time! Gather round, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Achu. How loud is an elephant's sneeze? Let's read and find out. Let's begin. Achu. Written by Deepa Balsavar, illustrated by Nancy Raj. Achu went Monkey. She had a terrible cold. That was loud. I almost fell off the tree, said Cuckoo, poking his head through the leaves. Really? asked Monkey. If this is loud, how loud do you think an elephant sneeze would be? I can only guess, said Cuckoo. Maybe as loud as this. Achoo! That's not loud enough, said Porcupine. An elephant sneeze is much louder than that. Achoo! He blew out his little cheeks and his pointy nose quivered. Grunt, grunt, said Wild Boar. That's not loud enough. An elephant sneeze must be huge. And taking a deep breath, she went, Ah! Achoo! Grunt, grunt. What's all this noise? asked Deer. Do you know how loud an elephant sneeze is? asked Monkey. I always sneeze politely, said Deer with a sniff. But an elephant must have a huge, disgusting sneeze like this. Uh, Achoo! Achoo! Excuse me. Achoo! All the animals jumped, while Buffalo joined the group. That's an elephant sneeze, he said proudly. Deer, wild boar, porcupine, cuckoo, and monkey looked at him with admiration. Not bad, but not quite, purred a low voice. Wild Buffalo's nose quivered. Tiger leaped out from behind the bushes. She threw her head back, opened her mouth wide, and gave the loudest sneeze you could ever imagine. She went, ah, ah, Elephant walked into the clearing. Pardon me, he said to Tiger. Do you have a cold too? I have one, and I am going to sneeze. What? roared Tiger. What? bellowed Wild Buffalo. What? barked Deer. What? grunted Wild Boar. What? squealed Porcupine. 
What? sang Cuckoo. Oh, wow, thought Monkey. Ah, uh, well, ah, uh, went Elephant. The whole forest waited. Here it comes, thought Monkey. Ah, that felt good, said Elephant. Nothing like a good sneeze to clear out the trunk. Then he looked around and wondered, Where have all the others gone? Cuckoo began to laugh. Now do you know how big an elephant's sneeze is, he asked Monkey. Yes, said Monkey, but not another question, wailed Cuckoo and flew hurriedly away. The End Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids! It's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. I'm going to teach you a song called I'm a Little Teapot. And look what I have in my backpack. A banjo. I'll sing the song first. Then you sing along with me. Okay, let's begin. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Now this time, we'll all sing together, okay? Okay! Yeah! Yes! I'm ready! Here we go! I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Well done! Thank you, Mr. Frog! Thank you for singing with me. Goodbye. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Violin. <laughs> Violin. <laughs> Volcano. <laughs> Volcano. Vest. <laughs> Vest. Vase. <laughs> Vase. Vegetables. <laughs> Vegetables. <laughs> What letter do all these words start with? V! That's right! The letter V! Let's play Monkey See, Monkey Do! Come on, everybody! It's time to move! Oh, yeah! yeah. Raise your shoulders! 
now it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, bringing their tails behind them. Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, bringing their tails behind them. lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, bringing their tails behind them. <laughs> <laughs>